This is The State for Friday, March 13th, where we bring you the headlines that matter. I'm Lacey Hudson. Michigan State suspended all in-person classes as of Wednesday, March 11th at noon. President Samuel L. Stanley Jr. sent out an email to the university community announcing the suspension and the cancellation of university-related international travel. Classes will be remaining online until April 20th, according to Stanley's email. University has also recommended that students return to their permanent residence if they're able to. However, the dorm rooms and dining halls will continue accommodating for students who choose to remain on campus. MSU and the Residence Education and Housing Services will be increasing sanitation efforts within campus buildings. Several university-related events have also been canceled, including the Big Ten Tournament, March Madness, and several shows at the Warden Center. On Thursday, it was announced that the NCAA has canceled the men's and women's basketball tournaments in March Madness. The university will not be scheduling any new events with more than 100 people in a confined space until April 20th. Some other campus-related event cancellations include MSU Greek Week events, all University Activities Board events, and the MSU Spring Career Fair. Additionally, Broadway has announced that it will be canceling their shows, Disneyland will be closing, and all Ohio schools will be closing for at least three weeks. The presidential primary in Michigan was Tuesday. The Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden won Michigan, winning in all 83 voting districts in the state. His main competitor for the bid, Bernie Sanders, remains in the race. There were six proposals on the ballot of East Lansing residents, including increasing funding for Potter Park Zoo, increasing funding for the recreational parks and trails in Ingham County, and providing health care and mental health services to low-income residents who aren't eligible for Medicaid and who don't have medical insurance. All six passed. Thank you for joining us for The State. This has been a production of The State News and Impact 89 FM. You can find us online at statenews.com and impact89fm.org. We'll be back next week with more.